I gotta be honest with you guys. I turned 30 the other day and I've been feeling a bit washed. I'm not doing that. That's this thing. Statistically oh, speaking, no. my reaction time's about to take a massive dump. So it got me thinking. Our muscles contract based on electrical signals they receive from our brain. So what if I could just hijack that signal and instead of listening to my slow human brain, have it listen to something else. Can I make my muscles have the fastest reaction time in the world? Whoa, okay. Oh. Sponsored by Micro Center. New location coming soon to Phoenix, Arizona. There are three major components to this setup. One, a PC running a program that can find where enemies are on the screen. It's not cheats. I mean, I don't want to cheat. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to cheat. Two, I need a way to send shocks to my muscles at specific wavelengths or whatever to make the muscles contract and move my arm in different directions. Nope, nope, nope. And three, I need a little single board computer to interpret the knot hacks into shockies in a very specific way to turn my arm quickly in the right direction. So theoretically, if I do everything properly, I'm the fastest in the world, but not by cheating because it's my muscles, okay? I just use some science and engineering to kind of soup them up a little bit. How do I get? 13 out of 30, let's go! My average reaction time was about 200 milliseconds, measuring the amount of frames that it took at 120 frames per second for my hand to start moving once an enemy was visible. Some of these cracked out young chaps are getting like 150 milliseconds or sometimes even slightly lower. So ideally I want to beat the cracked out young chaps uh, with some science, okay? Little freaking danguses, okay? You little, you little twerps. So the setup looks like this. First I got a Raspberry Pi from Micro Center and got it set up controlling four relays from commands I could send over the Wi-Fi. All the red lights should turn off. Hey, how about that, baby? And that's really it for the Raspberry Pi. That'll give me control over whatever circuits we use later to electrocute my arm. Now the server PC program will need to scan all the pixels on the screen and find human shaped objects using what's called YOLO computer vision. Then we can determine the distance and direction of the detected object relative to the center crosshair while gaming. With that information, it could tell the Raspberry Pi which circuit to open and for how long. So if the enemy's to the left, it opens this relay, and if it's to the right, it opens a different one. <laughs> and so theoretically, I just needed to connect these relays to circuits that are shocking my arm in those directions. Position the shockies on my arm in such a way that it moves my arm in the proper direction. So how do you contract a muscle with an external electric signal? You could risk your life building one from scratch. You got a bunch of resistors and capacitors and uh, or buy an EMS uh, TENS unit. These are designed for muscle stimulation, oh. sending super fast, tiny little pulses of high voltage to your chosen muscle groups with these little electrodes. I want like an involuntary wrist movement. Personally, I find it unpleasant. That is tingly and I don't like that. Oh, dude, I feel really dumb that this is shocking me. <laughs> However, Olivia's little brother couldn't get enough of it. <laughs> dude, you gotta let go, you gotta stop. So he kindly volunteered to help find the specific muscle groups. Yeah. You wanna be the test? Yes. Whatever I go to, you go to. All right, all right, you. Whatever you go to. I'll to get the desired hand movement. Uh, Basically, I needed to locate the specific muscle that needed to contract, and then you place the electrodes on where the nerves enter that muscle, and then somewhere along the muscle itself, and then it stimulates the nerve, contracts the muscle. Oh, you just start to flex that muscle. Which we can turn on and off with a relay. That program is scanning the screen for enemies. When it detects an enemy to the right, it activates this switch. When it turns that on, it should flex my muscles so that my hand moves to the right and aims towards the enemy on the right. This is a controlled electrocution to make my reaction time inhuman. I will be the fastest in the world. So flip it on and then uh, right back off. This was one of my dumber decisions, handing Gideon a switch to electrocute me. Turn it on and then right back off. But, ah! The, I didn't know you were gonna go. So it worked. I was giving a computer vision program control of my muscles to create neuromuscular aim assist. All right, I've got my emergency shutoffs. I assembled it all together, added some emergency switches, contemplated its safety for a weekend, and then it was time. Not hacks. .py. For the first actual test. All right, here we go. Ah! Dude! Oh my goodness!
goodness. Ah! 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 Shut up! Shut up! Oh my goodness, dude. That was freaky. That was freaky, dude. It's like something was grabbing me. The software, Raspberry Pi, relays, everything worked exactly as expected. I had successfully reacted to an enemy in game in under 100 milliseconds. Inhuman fastest in the world. Right here, you can see the light activate. Boom. Arm immediately starts moving. Oh, arm immediately starts moving. But you might have noticed I was whiffing everything. <laughs> what good is reaction time if you're gonna miss? And I didn't finish. I freaked out like time traveling Napoleon Dynamite. Ah, shut up! We're shut gonna up. finish half of it. So I came back the next day and just decided to turn it up a little bit and do it again, make myself finish the test so I could compare it to the control test. Hit speed and just do the best that I can do. Let's go. Ah! Why it's probably like, what is going on in there? I ran through the test two ah! times. It's the incentive to get to the target is insane. Uh. Ah, dude. And the results were uh. oh, oh. bad. <laughs> oh my, look away, look away. Seven, I turned it up and got even worse. After all that, it makes you worse? So theoretically, I have the fastest reaction time in human history right now. But because of the pain, I'm worse at the game. <laughs> After my mental breakdown, I figured out what was going on. What, bro? My reaction time was all over the board. On some of the shots, I had inhuman reactions. My hand would start moving within 100 milliseconds, and then the combination of seeing the enemy with my eyes and feeling the shock on my arm made my natural reaction time quicker as well. So when my human brain kicked in, my hand was already moving towards the target. And it was, it was nuts. And then on other ones, they're just kind of mediocre. I found that two major things were happening. One, the Raspberry Pi sometimes would take 100 milliseconds to kick in. This meant that I was basically just getting shocked at the same time that I would normally react, which was just a bummer. <laughs> this big blue circle is actually a dead zone designed to prevent just that. The other issue is that in this specific test mode, I'm anticipating the enemies. I know that every two seconds there's another enemy on the screen, so my arm's all flexed up and tense, which is resisting the contraction of the muscle that's supposed to move my arm. The same way like if someone's about to push you, you lean into it. There are two very clear solutions here. For the latency, you go to Micro Center, and for the anticipation, well, you go full nakey jakey and go into matchmaking. I get to game with my buddies three hours a week. I got like 12 kids now. I've got to make the most out of those three hours, okay? Essential. You know what I didn't have when I was 17? <laughs> More than $3 and a semi-in-depth understanding of electronics in such a way that I could develop neuromuscular aim assist. Okay? This is for a man, a real man. I'm a great big boy. At first I thought lowering the latency would be as simple as upgrading the computer. What I had yet to consider oh. is that going into matchmaking <laughs> meant I needed my program to differentiate teammates from enemies. Otherwise I'd just get constantly shocked. First, I tried to make the program search above the bounding box for a nameplate. All my teammates will have their name above their head, right? That made it run really, stuttery. really slow. Very stuttery. And I still barely know what I'm doing. So after a few hours, I scrapped that idea and then went on to try and differentiate teammates from enemies using color. So within the bounding box of the human-shaped object, I'd have it try and differentiate like greens and blues for CT side and then yellows and browns for the T side. Nice, nice! Teammates, teammates, teammates. The system I built for Micro Center, it's got a 9950X3D, pretty serious amount of RAM. Like it was eating its Wheaties. Excellent, and it's fast. That's teammates. Okay, let's go check the other side. But I just couldn't get it to be consistent. As soon as we see a CT, it should start actuating the relays. Well, oh, it thinks they're teammates too. 
What the heck, man? The final solution uh, made me feel nice. pretty dumb. So instead of having the computer vision just search for humanoid shaped objects. Stinking bald guy. I can't get it to not detect this. Stinking bald guy. <laughs> I could just get a different YOLO model that already differentiates the two uh, built by all the cheaters. <laughs> well, I didn't know I was using a generic model. And so I need to switch to using like an actual pre-trained model for CS2 game characters. I'm not using it to cheat though. I'm going to modify not hacks to use, because it's not hacks, to use the new CS2 model. I don't know if I've mentioned that. I'm not cheating. They're cheating. Teammates! Teammates! Woo! Yippee! I'm not going to get shocked. Well, I mean, I will. I'll go to this other side, and it should just automatically... Oh, that's so much better than the freaking color system I was trying to build myself, dude. Oh, let's go! Enemies! I slapped in a stinking Micro Center 5090 in this bad boy, and so we were done with latency. Oh, that's so much better. Look like it immediately detects them. Boom! Shocked! Fast reaction time! Da, 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 da. Latency resolved. Can tell the teammates from enemies. But there was one more thing I, I haven't told you guys about. But now it's time, I think. I think now's the moment. Neuromuscular trigger bot. Ah, ah. Okay, I will not. Oh, okay. I found the specific muscle that flexes my trigger finger. I did not choose to press my trigger finger there. It did it for me. And then when the crosshair in game goes over an enemy's head, oh. it should click my finger gonna, for me. Oh, baby. This is gonna, it's gonna work. But there was a massive problem. I can't just take these into matchmaking because like I'm a YouTuber. I would say not cheats, but some people might consider these cheats. And so what I did was, yeah, I just took it into matchmaking. You gotta get over here. But before I go into matchmaking, I gotta tell you about this computer. You might've noticed that it has Linux installed and I'm not yet a true Linux user because I waited 12 minutes to tell you. That's unheard of, okay? But I'm gonna stop showering and may or may not be making a switching to Linux video thanks to Micro Center providing all of the electronics for this PC, this entire video, because they've got everything. They've got it all, man. The Raspberry Pis, they have Arduinos that would have worked for this project, but I actually forgot that they had them. They even have like a Jetson Orin Nano. That's another thing that would have done this, that would have worked. Ultra wide monitors. So you can have a wide field of view as the AI writes your code for you. This guy, Connor, at the Micro Center, he knows things. Okay. You go into any other electronics store that will not be named, <laughs> sends people here. and they'll send you to Connor at Micro Center because they actually know things at Micro Center. Micro Center's like the last place on earth where you're actually gonna get a deal on electronics. All throughout August, they have some insane deals going on for building a computer, so if you're gonna upgrade, or if you wanna build a PC and stop showering with me, this is your moment, man. This is your moment, stop showering, bro. We'll stop showering together. Sign up for VIP days in the new Phoenix location, you get a free 128 gigabyte flash drive. Go to Micro Center. Come on, yeah? Go to Micro Center! I'm on Linux and it resets my audio to 100%. Jokes aside, this was the most unique gaming experience I've ever had. It's like a jump scare, dude. I'm gonna get shocked at any freaking second. In the cross, ow, ow, ow. Good crosshair placement is a massive incentive right now. Hey, have you guys ever heard of neuromuscular aim assist? That sounds like some muscle, go, muscle go, memory go. So I hooked up a TENS unit to some CSGO cheats and it's shocking my arm to the right direction. <laughs> That's fucking wild. But it's not cheats, you know what I'm saying? It's my muscles doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I mean, so. Yes. Holy we're in agreement then. It's not cheating. Yeah, yeah. I believe it. Excellent, thank you. At times, it legitimately felt like a computer had control of my arm. I basically have like a trigger pot that shocks my finger as well. Ow, ow! Dead guy shocked it. And other times, I couldn't tell if I was being assisted or not. Oh, dude, I don't know if that was a trigger pot or me, but uh, good shot. <laughs> Oh, oh my goodness, dude. <laughs> Sometimes things would happen so fast, I didn't even know my arm was doing the thing it was supposed to, or what happened. Ah. It shocked my, it made me aim up. That was kind of cool. Ah. Like this time it pulled my arm towards an enemy outside the dead zone, but I was already shooting at an enemy in the dead zone. Or this time where for just two frames, it thought this teammate was an enemy and moved my arm to the it's right. Like a tens unit? Does it work 100% of the time? What is that? Ow! But it's not cheating because it, it's my muscles. That's some crazy shit, bro. We were living in the future. But other times, it was a clear 
distinguishable assistance to detecting an enemy I otherwise would have reacted to slower. Ah. Oh, dude, that was crazy. Dude, it worked. It saw the enemy before I did and made me turn. That's sick. All right, guys, so I, I, I'm I, not cheating. I do have a program running that will electrocute my trigger finger if I'm on their head. It's kind of awesome. Do you think that should be considered cheating? Not valid. All right, cool. So would you guys personally run uh, neuromuscular aim assist? Yeah, I run it. And then I found it. So it should shock my finger. I've found out you need to kind of leave it limp. That way your own muscles don't resist. You need to... Oh! Scoped weapons with neuromuscular trigger bot. Okay, let's see. Someone's gonna swing the corner and I'm gonna get shocked at... <laughs> this... This truly made it feel <laughs> like I was just better than I actually was. Oh my goodness, baby. Like it worked. Oh, limp finger. And it worked good. That, that feels wild. So in conclusion, the concept of giving a computer vision cheat program control of your muscles and movements can potentially make you the fastest in the world. Like with some more precise electrodes potentially placed in the skin, maybe like eight channels. You concur, not cheating? I think so, yeah. Uh, you think it'd make you better? I mean, theoretically, yeah. That'd be um, your best. I'm gonna say yes. Some solid state relays that have significantly less latency. And if you wanted to get riskier, just connect this to ethernet instead of wireless, you could realistically give yourself sub 50 millisecond reaction time and have it move your muscle precisely to the enemy's head instead of just a directional assistance. And then electrocutes my finger to shoot. That's cool as <laughs> But... I don't know if I want to spend the three hours a week I get gaming getting tased in the arm. I turned it up. Ah, and man, I forgot to tell him I was using Linux. I'm going to go smell some sunshine or something. Thanks for watching, guys. Just passing through.